welcome to Chef Tick. I am your host, Marco Lizard and this is Matthew Velez and Chef Vicente. We are going to bring hey you guys. episode 6 of Chef's Take for week 5 NFL predictions. I don't know why I'm talking like this. I should probably stop. What do you want? Meth. And heroin. Do those drugs, kids. You'll get a lot out of it. You're an E. Okay. So. Uh, oh. All right. First let's, start, let's start with Trump. Let's start with Thursday Night Football. The Eagles. The New England Patriots oh. and Tampa Bay. I thought this was going to be a close one. I had the New England Patriots. Well, Who did you guys have? One. New I, England. Uh, to be honest, I actually had the Bucks. Yeah. Because, I, I mean, at the end of the game, <laughs> at the end of the game, they allowed two flags when the game was supposed to be over, Nick and they got them to the yeah. twenty yard line. That's insane. And all the those field goals was that Nick Fult, not Foles, Fult. missed. He sucks. They would have won the game. Yeah. And they they lost because of him. If I was a Bucks fan, I would have been trash. Hon honestly, straight um, up trash. Honestly, uh... I didn't know who to pick at first. I, originally, I was going to go with Tampa Bay. But then, um, I looked at the statistics on defense and offense. Patriots had better at both. So, I you know, like the, the teams that were doing well last year aren't really doing great this year. I, I mean, like, like. The Patriots are in, thir are in third place in the division. Exactly. Giants are going off to the worst start. 0 <laughs> <Owen> 4. <laughs> hey, Giants fans. I got a knock knock joke for you. Knock knock. You say who's there? I say Owen. You say Owen who? And I say Owen four. <laughs> <laughs> so even our producer's laughing. Please zoom that camera in, sir. Perfect though. So that was your knock-knock joke from us Philadelphia Eagle fans. Now off to, game. speaking of, the first game of Sunday. Arizona Cardinals at Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love, where all the most passionate fans are, the cheesesteaks, screw you, tasty cakes, screw this you. fat, obese ass. Okay, um... So, I have Philadelphia. Now, if they don't win this game, they the suck. Done. This season is done. Yeah. EDP, if you're watching this video, we're big fans. Yeah, yeah okay, you're so right. Anyway. Yeah. That's a good thing, Jim. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, I do have Philadelphia oh, yeah. for this game. Obviously, because I'm an Eagles fan. But our offense is getting really there. We just need to stop the bubble screens. And we need to stop choking on the fourth quarter. It's really, Defense. really annoying. Ah, oh, hey, what's up? So, <laughs> I think you see you feel me like um uh, see if we lose this game, season's over with. I think. Well, EDP, that's what you think. It could be over. We About lose this game. The Cardinals ago. every time they Eden, kick please. the butts. I think this week is a game the Eagles need to win. And then versus Carolina Thursday night, they need to win that too. Player to watch for this game. Larry Fitzgerald, Larry Fitzgerald against Jalen Mills. Here are his statistics against Philadelphia. Eight games, 50 receptions, 845 receiving yards, and 11 touchdowns, including the dreadful NFC Championship game back in 09, I believe. Mm -hmm. Sad day. Mm -hmm. Deshaun Jackson. I don't know what else to say. Well, let's move on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Buffalo at uh, Cincinnati. I have Buffalo winning. Buffalo. Shady McCoy, yeah, Buffalo, please, to yeah. my fantasy team. It needs help. No. Yeah. Shout out to Vicente being last place in my fantasy league. Julio Jones, you suck. Why'd you get injured? Oh, crap. He, no, he's on a bye week. No, he was injured, too. Okay. Oh, wow. Wow. Why oh, he's on a bye week? Damn, wow. Like a wow. Okay, so, wow. yeah. I have wow. Buffalo winning this. Wow. Tyrod oh, Taylor is doing wow. very good this year. Okay, say that to the camera. I have Buffalo winning. Michelle McCoy, Tyrod Taylor. 
great matchup. A lot of pretty good receivers. Mm. Bengals. Jordan Matthews, I think, is out for this game. Dude's yeah, he is. Just dumb. Yeah. Wink, wink. I, like I feel bad for him. He's been getting hurt so many times ever since he got traded. First day of... First day of... <sighs> good lord. First day of practice. <laughs> practice. Oh. Practice. He got hurt. Like, I don't know what's going on. Anyway. Uh, New York. New York Jets at Cleveland. I don't know what I've been thinking. I Jets. think I think... I've been Jets. picking Cleveland a lot because I thought Deshaun Kaiser had something in him. He does. He's it's good. like he's he's a sucky team around him. Yeah, that yeah. He's good. But then you have Bio Powell. Oh my God, outstanding game! Wow. Um, I have the New York Jets winning this. What do you think? Matt? New York. They're gonna soar with the victory. You feel me? I have Cleveland. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. I have the Jets. Idiot. <laughs> okay, so we all have New York Jets in case. Cats of versus Cats. Carolina Panthers versus Detroit Lions. This is not Animal Planet. No one gives a crap about animals. We we are here for football. Right? <laughs> Get your rabbits. Okay, so anyway, yeah. Carolina. Oh, I forgot. Bird versus Bird Eagles. My bad. Sorry about that, guys. Idiot. Um. So anyway. <laughs> okay. Oh. So Jeez. Carolina at Detroit. Um. They both look very, they're both very great, um, but, yeah, the Panthers barely beat the Patriots, like, the last second field goal, but anyway, they can't see that, but, anyway, Detroit has a solid defense, <laughs> Detroit has a solid defense, I'm like, I'm going with Carolina, okay, because, I mean, they, uh, the win against the Patriots last week, huge, huge, it was, amazing. I'm picking I, Detroit, I, I, I didn't know that. Because I want Carolina to lose because we're worse than this week. Cam Newton had it. Oh, well, true, true. Uh, do you want the Panthers to lose? Okay, San Francisco. San Francisco versus, versus the Colts. This is a no-brainer, guys. I mean, Colts. Look. I think it's going to be the Colts. Sorry, San Fran. You suck. Your city's awesome, but... I'm going with the 49ers here. Oh. What drug is you take? <laughs> I'm taking Indianapolis. <laughs> nah, I just can't take Indianapolis, dude. I don't. I haven't watched too many highlights of the San Francisco for I don't really know what they have in them. They have like that they're they're, receipt, like they have um no, Pierre Gasol. Here, no, He's kidding. pretty good. But, but the Colts quarterback seems to suck. Jacoby Brissett. Yeah. He he reminds me of a Canapa book, but here's the thing. He's not Andrew Locke. The Colts are not like the Colts are nothing. With Andrew Luck. We all know that. Yeah, it's and like they, one primary. And, and, um, and, um, if you remember Thursday Night Football, I mean, they, they barely lost to the Rams. And the Rams are actually looking solid this year. Jared Goff, I didn't mean to under, uh, underestimate you, but you're pretty good. He's pretty good, that one against Dallas. The Carson Wentz is still better than you, though. I yeah. went against Dallas. To, uh, maybe pretty yeah. good. What? It's for you, Dallas, Mike. Anyway. Tennessee, Tennessee versus Miami, Miami Dolphins. Shut up. I have Tennessee winning this. Like, look. Let's face it. Last week, they both got blown out. 57 to 14. They got against... raped. A franchise yes. record. The Titans, the Bulls, but... just pulled them over like. Bulls. Because their mascot's a bull. This isn't basketball. And anyway, so the Sean Watson looked very good, but anyway, um, oh, the, the Miami Marshall. they didn't even score any points at all. Let's just face it. Cut, Cutler looked decent during like the first drive, but sure, yeah. Cutler's Cutler. Well, yeah, he's he does, he doesn't care about his team. They should have signed uh, Colin Kaepernick. Whatever his knee protests, who cares about that? Sign the quarterback. They need yeah. a quarterback. Or should have signed for... Well, not the Jaguars. They're doing okay. But yeah. they should have got Colin Kaepernick. It, someone should pick him up. I mean... Hey, uh, if you see someone kneeling... Like, if they kneel, don't leave. Trump's now, crazy. Now, listen. Like he said, I'm going to pick off what he said. If they knee, do not burn your tickets, your merchandise, or anything. Because, one, you'll be a sore loser. Two, 
you'll be a sucky fan. And three, why don't you give us the tickets and the merchandise, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah. unless you like other games. Yeah, especially but it's to the people games, in Puerto pretty. Rico. Look, they're suffering right now. And you're like, uh, uh, my team is kneeling to the national anthem. Look at the people in Puerto Rico. Explain. Yeah, seven people died. Seventy, seventeen people died. Oh, oh, that much. Yeah, and Trump compared like to um, let's see. Let's not let's not get into politics. No, this no, is this, this is, is a sports, sports this is channel, sports. not sports. politics. That's another. God, we're gonna... Okay. I think this is my game of the week this week. Los, Los Angeles, Angeles Chargers, Chargers versus the New York Giants in New, New York. York. <laughs> both teams 0-4. Yeah. Giant, the Eagles beat them both. Um, but the LA this is the chef's had... game of the week. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But the Chargers had the most devastating the losses, though. Yep. I mean, the Chiefs threw three interceptions. Phil Rivers is like the most temper tantrum quarterback I've ever seen. Phil Rivers, you're watching this video? He's some darn tantrums, dude. Like, I've never seen a quarterback throw more tantrum on the field, yo. Oh, my gosh. It's crazy. Oh, my God. So Chef's game tantrums. of the week, Chargers and versus the Giants. They're both wait, fighting wait. for their the first Giants win. Giants a devastating loss last week. It was pretty bad. But here's the thing. But Shut up, man. Let's go with the Chargers, yo. Because Phil Rivers... Chef's game of the week. Like, uh, like, Chef's game of the week. They, know, the Giants, like both coming they could have won loss. that game, but Tampa Bay barely beat them. I mean, look, the Giants are on four. I have the Giants. They have home field advantage. I have but, uh, the Giants too. They're pretty pissed off, and uh, their coach is trying to like, also, I don't want to get fired. Hey Giants, <laughs> remember that knock knock joke? Keep that in your head for a while. This is the Chef's game of the week. These both teams want to win. Let's we'll see yep. what happens. Okay, Jacksonville Jaguars at Pittsburgh Steelers. This is the chef's game, chef's um, food game of the week. This is going to be a boring game. Pittsburgh's going to kill Supported by the Big C. Supported by the Big C. Uh, chef's crappy game of the week. Um, Pittsburgh did yeah, demolish. Yeah. yeah, they did demolish the. Uh, it's going to be Pittsburgh. Right, yeah, it's going to be a crappy game. Week. If you're a Pittsburgh game, Wait, watch did, it. Who did Jacksonville play against last week? I forget. Oh, the Jets. Oh, yeah. And they lose. Yep. Yeah. Um, so, uh... I lose the Jets. Jacksonville has a great defense. I'm actually shocked about that. But, yeah, great mm -hmm. defense against a great offense. Um, True. I think... I have Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Yeah, I have Pittsburgh. I got the Steel Man coming in. Yeah. yeah. Okay. This would be an interesting match. Baltimore and Oakland. Baltimore. Oakland sucks. Baltimore, first Their of all... Their quarterback's out. Yeah, Derek, Derek Carr is very out. injury prone. Everybody's mm -hmm. relying on uh, Marshawn Lynch to sail their team to a victory, but I don't think it's happening. And besides, Marshawn Lynch hasn't been doing much at all this season. Like, yeah. Uh, beast not, mode not isn't once. really beast mode. An ear, not, ear, ear, not ear. once. Mike, how long ever... is Derek Carr being out? Uh, Derek Carr, listen up, people who have... Listen up, everybody who have you have if you have Dark Horn your fantasy team, he's gonna be out for, according to NFL analysis, four to six weeks. Oakland Raiders. He's out for the season. You guys are screwed. No, he's not. You said forty six weeks. Four to six. I thought you said forty six. Yeah, I thought you said forty six. Four to six. But you said it fast though. That's yeah, probably yeah, yeah, four no. to six. Yeah. Yeah. So next yeah, time, yeah, like, correct yourself. If it was 46 weeks, I would just say out for the season. Plain simple. Yeah. But so, Baltimore is going to win. I know they lost last week, but yeah, still. Raiders defense still, is trash. The, is the, so the Ra trash. Raider, EJ Manuel, I'm not, he's not the best quarterback. Yep. Marshawn yeah. Lynch hasn't done squat. He hasn't had a game over 80 yards. And don't tell me, oh, he's been out for two years. It's game, Russ. I don't care. He's back in the NFL. He has to play like he's in the NFL. Okay? What? Last week, 12 rushing yards. I can run more than that. The week before, he had like 26, 28. Oh, he's so trash. Like, my God, man. Get, you have to get your act together. He, he probably might get into the rhythm like in a few weeks, but if he does, look, if this is his breakout game, they're going to lose. So, anyway. Seattle at Los Angeles Rams. Upset Rams. of the week. Upset oh. of the week. Rams. 
Hello, okay. Let's see, upset of the week. Um, I would just say that, uh, look, you know, you know it, we all know it. Um, the Rams. The Rams give Seattle trouble. I don't know why, but it always happens. Same. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna say pretty good. I mean, I'll Shut guys. up, phone! Continue. Well, Sorry, my friend's having an aneurysm. Uh, so, Jared Goff's been playing really well. Okay, obviously, yeah, he's doing really good. Towards the last week against Dallas Cowboys. Good win, Jared Goff. If you're watching the video, heck no, you're not, yo. But, good job last week. Like I said earlier, Chris thank you for the Cowboys. I really appreciate it. But, you're going to get raped. Right yeah, Cowboys suck. Yeah, yeah, right Anyway, uh. America's Game speaking of the of, Week. Speaking of the Dallas Cowboys. Green the Bay, Bay Packers Dallas. versus the Dallas Cowboys. I have Green Bay. I'm going with my boy Aaron. So A-Rod, yo, is where yeah. it's at. Green Bay. Bay. Discount thumb, old check. <clears throat> okay, so. Yeah, let's get that over with. This should um, be interesting. Are we going to mess the match up? Oh, uh, no. Let, let's explain all the... Oh, yeah, yeah all um, so... I mean, Dallas well, has been struggling. Yeah. What? Uh, Green Bay's been is, like, Green, is Green Bay 3 and 1? Or yeah, they're 3 and 1. Yeah, I mean, 3 and 1. No one, like, to be honest, no one in the NFL is not like, playing, like, super good. Like, well, it's, the Chiefs it's a, are. It's the a, Chiefs, a, obviously. But, like, yeah, undefeated. But yeah, but, like, nobody's the teams really playing the, the that teams that were doing, I expected it to. Look, the teams that were playing great last year are. Exactly. They're crappy this. New England Patriots, for instance. Exactly. They went. What did they go, like? I mean, what? you can never under underestimate Tom Brady, but yeah, like, yeah. you can't underestimate the goat. But third place in the division, I know it's it's week five, but yeah, but it's, like, it's, come they're on still now. third place in the division. Okay, get that, keep that in your mind. It's pretty sad, yeah. But um, uh, and remember, I have... even the Jets are ahead of them, and look how they're doing decent. Um, so. Anybody anyway. else want to, anyone else want to explain anything? Nope. Let's move on to the Okay, uh. Interesting matchup. Kansas City at Houston. Wow, this should be a, this should be a good one quarterback-wise. Uh, I think Alex they'll stay Smith. five. I mean five and oh, my bad. Alex Smith, uh, great quarterback. Deshaun Watson has def is definitely the franchise quarterback. The, he's a quarterback that... Houston needs like yeah, unlike he's the really good. Yeah. unlike the not David Carr <laughs> unlike, unlike uh, the Brock market crash. What? Well, yeah. Anyway, at Kansas City winning this, they're gonna go five and zero. No, it's at Houston. I I know, but it's a nice stadium. They I know, but Energy listen, stadium. they have a tremendous defense. I'm not saying mm -hmm. I'm not saying the Houston offense is trash. They're decent. They're like a B. They're like a B plus, but. Chiefs are top five defense in the league. There is no way you can stop Kareem Hunt. If they can stop Kareem Hunt, then, They're gonna then win. Houston would win this. But you stop look, someone's run game, you win. Ka Kareem Hunt, starting running back, defense has, games. is averaging seven and a half yards per carry. And what, four games already has over 500 rushing yards, which is impressive. He robbed me out on getting Kareem Hunt. Don't ask me why, but... <laughs> Hey, you thought you were gonna get him. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, who do you guys have? Monday night. Nope. Sadly, Kansas City, man, but I feel like Deshaun Watson gonna put up a really, really good fight. Five and zero. Five and zero. This will be a close game, no doubt about it. But I still think. Kansas That's City's Sunday night this. football. Yep. And Monday night football. Miami. Minnesota, Minnesota oh, I said at Miami. Chicago. Division rivals too. Here's the thing too. I don't think Bradford's playing this week. Casey Keenum is looking very good. Defense, defense. Um, let's see. Um, Minnesota. I have Vikings. Minnesota, and yeah. finally, Chicago benches the giraffe. You should know who I mean by the giraffe. Mike Glennon. They finally start the, the long kid Mitch ding -dong. Trubisky. The pencil neck ding -dong. I really want to see him. He looked tremendous in the uh, off season. I mean preseason, didn't he? Hey guys, don't go to bed too late. Alright. Um, Cause we got a long day tomorrow. Yeah. A lot of walking. Yeah. What? Um. <laughs> so. Uh. Minnesota, yeah. This will be a quick. Uh, I don't know. I think it might be a. The only. The, 
the main reason why the Chicago offense is good is because of Jordan Howard. True, true, I don't know why. I mean, uh, they, they so I guess we all have Minnesota. Yeah. Okay, so let's go down the list again. New England, Tampa Bay. I had New England. Vicente had New England. You had Tampa Bay. So right there you went. They could have won, to be yeah. Um, Arizona, Philly, we're not being biased here. We all think Philadelphia is going to win this. Yeah. Besides, that's, Wendell Smallwood is questionable. I mean, if he yeah, isn't, you're going to be seeing sure. a lot of uh, LeGarrette Blount and Corey Clement. Who I got to see today. Anyway. Buffalo and Cincinnati, no-brainer. I mean, we all had Buffalo. So, Jets and Cleveland, another no-brainer. Deshaun Kaiser, he's a great quarterback just with a crappy team. Yeah. Carolina, Detroit. We all, well, not all of us. I had Detroit. I had Carolina. And Would you have? And Bookworm had Detroit. Yeah, yeah, Detroit. Mm -hmm. San Francisco and Indianapolis. Me and Matt had San Francisco. I said Indy. Oh, I thought. Yeah, Indy. I feel like Indy's going to win. Oh, okay, so I guess that's a, I guess for you. Anyway, so I guess I'm the only one that has San Fran winning this. If Andrew, yeah, if Andrew Luck was playing, I would uh, have. I would think the Colts would win. Yeah. Um, Tennessee, Miami, no question. They both they both got blown out, but look, Tennessee is a better team. Like Mariota is great. Cutler doesn't care about his team. The face of the well. The only two good players they have on offense is uh, Jay Ajayi and uh, Jarvis Landry. Chargers and Giants, this is like our game of the week. The chess, they, they the both, chess game of the week. They both, they both didn't win a game. This is going to be a close game, though. Uh, it's a good matchup, too. The Giants the might not play as well because this whole issue with the Odell thing, if you know what he did. Uh, like he's, always, he's going through this controversy and stuff. He might leave. Yeah, he might, get, he might get traded. He might. I think he's going to leave in the off season. Go to the Eagles. What did he say? No, I don't want him in the Eagles. I do. <laughs> great. I do not want a jerk. I don't want a guy who acts up all the time. He doesn't he act up all he the time. He does. Okay, he just so did that little are... taunt. I thought that was funny. Yeah, but that's one taunt. Look at what happened in the other years. He's always starting stuff up. No, that was just the Josh Norman crap. That was because... Yeah, well, yeah, that, that, yeah, the Josh and then last thing. year, they didn't even try to fight either. Because Odell just ignored him all the time. Okay, Jacksonville and Pittsburgh. Great defense against great offense. I, we all have Pittsburgh. Yeah, Pittsburgh. Baltimore, Oakland. Oakland is really nothing with... Um, Derek Carr. Yeah. He's so out we four, all got four, two, six weeks. Not 46. So, yeah. Baltimore. Uh, then our Seattle ups LA. Yes, Seattle at Adam Rams. This was my upset. Well, never mind. We would have the uh, we all have the Rams because let's face it, Seattle always struggles at the beginning of the season. But here's the thing: the Rams always give them trouble every single year. But let's be honest, the the Seahawks are. Barely beating that team every year. I don't know sure. how. Like, my God. The Rams last year were, weren't the best. Okay, Green Bay at Dallas. Dallas has been struggling a lot. Yeah. Uh, Dallas trash. Yeah, Green Bay has the upper hand here. Um, Thursday night football. Uh, no, not Thursday. Sunday night football. My apologies. I have KC winning this. Uh, yeah, we all got KC winning this. Great then, offense. Then, then what do you say, Houston? No, no. Okay, so we all have KC. That it's gonna, no question, it's gonna be a close game. The like, there are two great quarterbacks right yeah. now. You have a great defense going up against a decent offense, but I still think it's gonna be a close game. We all think it's gonna be Kansas City. Now Minnesota and Chicago, Monday Night Football, divisional game. Uh, like I said, they're benching the Giraffe and Mike Lennon and starting Mitch 
Mitchell Trubisky. Oh, I'm, I'm really, I'm really excited to see what he has. Yeah, he did great well. preseason, but I, I still have Minnesota. Mm -hmm. Casey Keenum, yeah. Casey Keenum looks good, like he looks great elite, and um, if he keeps it up, I think he might take the starting job from Bradford. Ooh, he, oh, he, 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 he. What about Teddy Bridgewater? I think he's gonna get caught. Yeah, he's probably gonna get cut and like signed to a different team. He's a good quarterback. Yeah, but I think he should go to like the Jags. Yeah, because they got a good. Ja either form. like the Jags, Jets. No, I'll go to the Jets. They're hopeless. Yeah, pretty much. Very hopeless. Or the uh, hmm. Browns mm -hmm. maybe. I see the Browns going places, not the Jets. Yeah. So that's our wrap. So. It's a wrap, that's, guys. Um, Thank you for. That's uh, our week five predictions. Uh. Mm -hmm. So anyway, thanks for now watching. Let's talk. Steak. Now let's do a little bit of debating. As of right now, it's week oh, five. Just gotta get laid. Mm, bro, I'm tired. If it's week five, who do you think is gonna oh. win? Oh. 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 oh, yeah. Now what are you doing? Get out of here, loser. Well, oh, I man. guess that's the end of uh. Steak. Oh, my bad. Sorry. Oh well, never mind. Um, so. It's week five. As of right now, who do you think is going to win NFL MVP? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I want to say Carson Wentz, but then I don't. Yeah, but that's he a might. Lot. But he, I don't know really. He's, he's going to be a contender. I don't see any. He's probably going to be a contender. The only offensive player I really see winning is Primo. Yeah. I think the um, defensive. Oh. Defensive MVP is a um. No, the MVP. You say MVP, Pete? Like M the MVP of um, the league. Uh, if Kareem Hunt keeps it up, I think he's going to win. Offensive Rookie of the Year. Kareem Hunt. He's probably going to win Offensive Rookie of the Year. Or Deshaun Watson. Deshaun or, Watson. Yeah, uh, either, he's probably going to win Rookie of the Year and possibly MVP if he keeps on performing, like, if he keeps on playing like this. But, uh... Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh... Now let's go to defensive rookie of the year. Um, uh, who's a rookie? Like, um, who's a rookie? That's yeah, that's a good question. He's starting. I don't think any rookie defensive rookie starting. Well, there's Rizzo, except for Russell well, there's, Douglas. Well, there's Russell Douglas. That's all we know. Yeah, obviously, that's all but we can't say we can't say he's an MVP. He's we can't say he's a defensive rookie of the year. But remember, there's AFC too. Uh, oh no, uh, no I, rookies. <laughs> For uh, defense. Yeah, I, don't know. I know the Browns rookie. Oh, Derek Barnett. He's a rookie. He starts. Yeah. Um. That's the only rookies. Now, who do you think is gonna be like regular defensive player of the year, not like defensive rookie? Von Miller. Von Miller. Von Miller. Von Miller. It Von might. Miller, it Von might. Miller. It might be Von Miller, but uh. My man. I, I actually Von. think it's gonna be uh. I forget his name. He's on the Cowboys. So right now he's leading the league in sacks. Mm -hmm. Um, was it like, what? I forget his name. Taco? No, not Taco. Jalen Smith? No, not Some other loser? Oh, I don't Demarcus know. Demarcus Lawrence, whatever his name is. I don't know, some loser on the Cowboys. Yeah, um, so. I don't think so. It's got to be far million, far million. Out of all three piece, probably going to, I think as of like right now, it's probably going to go to, Kareem Hunt's yeah. probably going to win. NFL MVP, Offensive Rookie of the Year, Offensive Player of the Year. I think he's going to win those three. Like, kid's good. Yeah. I think we're probably going to have to say goodbye to uh, Spencer Ware. Bye, Spencer Ware. He sucked anyway. He was decent. But. Yeah. Okay, uh. I know you might not want to talk any longer. Fantasy football. You're not doing so well. Neither am I. I'm in third place or in fourth place. We did not expect that. I thought we were supposed to be, like, tied or something. Yeah, I thought so. Well, we're... Yeah, me and him are playing against each other this week. Oh, uh, he's one and three. I'm two and two. And if you're wondering, it's a uh, four-person league. But... <sighs> uh, yeah. So right now, both of us are right now trying to just get to the top. So, yeah. Yeah, so I guess that's the uh, conclusion of 
Chef's Sake, episode six, seven, and I don't really know which one. <laughs> it's, yeah, oh, never, oh. week six. Episode six of Chef's Sake. Week bringing, six, you week, week bringing you week five of our predictions. If you're wondering why it's episode six, is because... We missed it. I, I made it. No, I made another um, video. Oh. Now, I hope you enjoyed, we hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe down below, like the video. If you don't like, if you don't like the video, end your life. I'll be there to bury you. Jeez, don't um, say that. I'm joking. Uh, so anyway. Like the video, subscribe, and uh, if you want to see more content. If you want to see more content. Just every week. Turn on the notification. Hey, don't worry, the chef is in. We'll start again, I know you want to see that. Matt, do you have anything to say to the camera? No. Okay, he doesn't have anything to say to the camera. Thank God, because no one cares about what he says. Okay, so that's week five. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.